Hello, everybody. Today I'm here with the May Sign In Hero, and that's really all we've got for you. There's a shop refresh as well, but the main uh, purpose of this video is to look at the new hero, which is Pocahontas from Disney's Pocahontas. And another new series coming in, uh, another one on my list of 10 series I wanted to see. Um, I said it'd be nice to get um, John. Wait. <laughs> Um, if you can't tell, I've never seen Pocahontas. The, the other character from the movie. And I guess the villain as well could be, could appear. Uh, but right now all we have is Pocahontas, so let's take a look at her. And, um, like I said, I've never actually seen Pocahontas. I, I just didn't happen to see it as a kid. And now that I'm older, I just don't have the interest to see it, I guess. But let me know if it's a good movie. If it's really good, I'll watch it. Um, but I've never seen it, so... Uh, I have no reference for the source material but I pulled up a reference image because I feel like her face is a little bit off and I think it might be the nose that's throwing me off because in the reference photos I'm looking at she has a very like solid line on her nose in most of the photos and here there's like no line for like the bridge specifically and I really feel like that's throwing me off because uh, I'm looking at the rest of her features and they look pretty normal so I don't know um, what it is and hopefully she'll look like her animations will make her look a bit more, more normal in the game. I don't know, I feel like the style is a little different in the movie, I guess, and it really is just that bridge of the nose, I think, that's messing with me, but the rest of her looks really good, and um, I think the dress, like the uh, drawing style of the dress is really cool. Um, I'm interested to see uh, what animation she has, really. I'm guessing a Colors of the Wind kind of thing will show up in some way. Um, and she's a control hero, and will be the May sign in hero. Um, I, I guess I don't know what else to say. We got a, I got a notification this morning that said we we're going to be getting a princess event. So I was thinking, okay, we're getting our patch notes today. Who are we going to get? Uh, who's a princess? You know, that's what I was thinking. I was like, uh, it's probably going to be a princess reveal. And I mean, we got Pocahontas. So, uh, I mean, yeah, I guess I was onto something with that. I, I, I would assume that was intentional. Uh, I haven't looked to see if she's appeared in game yet. She might already have, which means right after this video I'll have that as well. Uh, but let's look through her skills. The Wind Gust in its passive form. Her basic attack is a swirl of wind that damages and knocks enemies back, which seems to be the colors of the wind, which I was just speaking about. And as I'm already looking at the active, Volcana summons the colors of the winds, which stuns enemies and heals herself and her allies. So yeah, um, obviously the colors of the wind are going to be in this uh, move set in some form. Uh, I believe, and again, uh, in Sir Disney Sources Arena, we see the Colors of the Wind be one of her main moves as well, so obviously that makes sense. The main passive move is just a basic Swirl of Wind, but apparently the active one is actually the Colors of the Wind. Alright, the Raccoon Steal. Miko the Raccoon steals energy from the enemy with the... En <laughs> steals energy from the enemy with the most energy every few seconds and gives it to Pocahontas. Uh, so Miko makes an appearance. I guess he won't be his own hero. Uh, which is a little sad, but it's cool to have some representation of him. And it looks like, again, another character. We've got Flit here, who could have been... I could see a, a duo with uh, Miko and Flit, but instead they're being uh, part of her moves, move set. So she's kind of a trio in a way, I guess. Anyways, Flit comes in and ran, uh, flies at a random enemy every few seconds to deal damage to them, send them, and remove a certain amount of their active buffs with the longest remaining durations. The Lending Aid, Pocahontas grants herself and allies buffs based on their team color at the start of each battle. These buffs are increased by a percent each time Pocahontas uses Wind Gust up to a maximum bonus. I don't know how it um, clarifies which color team you are. Is it the strongest hero? What team they're on? Is it the most, like if three out of five of them are red, does that make it a red team? I, I honestly don't know. Um, or, I, yeah, I, I don't know, but anyways, I, I don't have this in the picture, but it reads here that the red team gets uh, plus armor, blue teams gets plus skill power, and the yellow team gets plus basic damage, which all kind of coincides with what they need for each team. And then finally, the changing winds. When Pocahontas falls below a certain, uh, below a percent of her max HP, the cooldown for hummingbird attack is reduced, and Flip prefers to target the enemy closest to Pocahontas. The Pocahontas begins a wave with a certain amount or more allies of a single team color. 
The allies of that team color have their attack and movement and speeds increased. So with that line alone, it makes sense that what I was saying, like if three out of the five of them are red, then the team color is red. That's what it seems to be saying there. And this team color check and speed increase do not include Pocahontas herself. Uh, and then also battle badge. Oh, the yellow battle badge. Um, so a bunch of information there. I don't really know what the yellow battle badge does, so I'm not going to talk about it because I just I just don't know what I'm talking about. But her friendships are with Elsa and Kida, uh, two princesses. Um, I guess Elsa's a queen. But yeah, those make a lot of sense. Um, I feel like sometimes they're a bit iffy, but those both make complete sense. They're very strong, independent women as as well. Maybe that they'll go with that. Uh, so the May sign in hero is. Pocahontas, as we mentioned, but going through the shop refreshes. Demona is moving to the VIP crate. Rocketeer going to the guild crate. Captain Hook in uh, the City Watch. Mr. Big and Kozlov in the Creep Surge. Ham in the Arena. Basil in the Coliseum. Kristoff and Sven in the Heist. And Baloo in the Guild War. Big ones to mention are Baloo, who just got out of the Coliseum crate. Ham, which was a sign in hero and was just in the, um, in the guild crate who's being replaced with the Rocketeer now, and Mr. Big and Kozlov will have a better way to get them in the Creep Surge shop. Um, so, I, I think it's about time we got Pocahontas. It's honestly surprising that it's been three years and we finally get, are getting Pocahontas. It makes, uh, I guess it would've made sense to have her honestly in the original game. I mean, Disney Sources Arena had her in the base game, so uh, it's honestly surprising that it's taken this long, but obviously, eventually we were gonna get her and now that time has come. Um, we're all hoping that we're gonna get a Mickey Mouse character for the anniversary. There is no confirmation of that whatsoever so far. Um, the data mines seem to suggest that won't happen. I really hope they keep up the tradition, but it's very possible that they don't. We only got, we didn't get any Valentine's characters or anything, you know, they have been kind of slacking in those regards. So for all we know, we are not getting an anniversary special character. You know, we might get an anniversary update with maybe like multiple characters to celebrate, but we will probably not be getting a Mickey Mouse character, which is really sad. I'm still hopeful that they've got a surprise. They can have surprises. Um, I'm just not completely expecting it. Uh, and I hope I'm wrong, but I'm just not expecting it. But I shouldn't be a downer. It's exciting to get Pocahontas. I will have her on the 7th when she is available through the sign-in, um, you know, calendar. So I will see you then. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.